shocking. President Muhammad Buhari just made a statement that is making Nigerians truly have, truly angry. I mean, the anger is all over the place and Nigerians are reacting like seriously. But the truth of the matter is, will you really blame Buhari? I tell you what, some of these are politicians, eh? they are selling the best rights of their people, people that they are, they are supposed to be representing for reports of porridge. You know that betrayal is still ongoing. Oh, oh yes, people are still selling bet rights even on t up till now. It's not just um, it's not just Esau that sold his bet rights to Cain uh, or uh, Cain that sold his bet rights to Esau. It's not just that too. Even today, the governors are selling the people's bet rights. Take for instance, five Southeast governors went to meet Buhari to tell him that they are not with IPOB. And they do not stand with that. They stand for one Nigeria. I appreciate that because, I mean, that's their position. But you don't impose that on all the region. Did you have what we call a town hall meeting to understand if that's what the people want or you are speaking your own terms and conditions? What about in the south, in the southwest? Ashwajo Ahmed Bola Tinubu, a few governors, not all the governors of the South is, I can tell you categorically that a Kiti governor was not there. Undo state governor was not there. He made, we met with a few, um, you know, politicians and they stood to say, we don't believe in uh, Odudua. We believe in one Nigeria. And as we speak, even the rally being slated for the 3rd of July, there's a lot of threats, you know, with that regard. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. I am happy that Nigeria is beginning to get rid of IPOB and Odudua's nation, President Muhammad Buhari has said. President Muhammad Buhari, who is aware that the indigenous people of Biafra and Oduduwa's nation agitators are the major section group in the nation, has expressed his joy over the improvement of the country in getting rid of those who wants to divide the dividing elements in Nigeria. According to Buhari, their governors has assured me that they do not stand with these people, so they are on their own. Apparently, IPOB and Oduduwa's nation agitators have already had the sole objective of dividing the country so suit their own interests. The two section groups are under the leadership of Mazi Unandi Kano and Sunday Igboho, respectively, and they are always being repressive to the government to the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Having this in mind, President Muhammad Buhari, who was represented by the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, during the Progressive Youth Conference held at Abuja, referred to them as divisionist element. His words, I am happy to see that they are beginning to see the results and we keep moving improving the unity of the country and getting rid of this dividing element. However, it's on record that their governors have told the nation, has told Nigerians, that they stand for one Nigeria. IPOB and Oduduwa are fighting a lost cause because even their governors are not in support. They have assured the president of their loyalty and their support for one Nigeria. So this group are just fighting a wasted or a lost battle already. I am happy that those who represent them have told Nigerians, has told all, there is no need for section because we do not stand for that. We can all profess solution to the problem on ground in Nigeria. Why divide the nation when we can work at it and get something done? We only have a temporary problem that can be dealt with, my people. Now, so the matter reach you. So when you look at everything that is happening, Truly, really, you understand that there is more to it than beneath the eyes. Honestly speaking, there is more to this. It's not just the statement we make or we say, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. There is far much more to this. Okay? Some persons, you know, how can five people, talking about the five southern governors, or Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, who is not a politician, who is a resident, a member of the public just like every other person acknowledging the fact yes we are not undermining the fact that he has been a uh, governor of lagos state but that's how far as it goes nothing more nothing less so how come is now the one determining you know calling the shots as regarding what happens to the generality of everybody you can't do that no it's not done because if you say 
you know, if you say you are the one who is now deciding for the people, before you go under that, uh, before you go under that exalted position, the first and foremost thing is for you to have what we call a town hall meeting with your people, starting from the local government. Have a meeting, let all the local government chairmen report to you. Sake of argument sake, let's say the state is so big, the work is so tedious, there are other matter pressing in your hand that you need to attend to. What happened to the state governors, uh, state uh, commissioners, or let's start with the local government chairman, relating with the people and feeding back to the government to say, this is where we are. This is the people's preference. This is what we have discussed. This is how far we have gone. This is what we are expecting. This is where we are at the moment. And these are the perimeters for judgment. This is how far things have been. You see, with that kind of, then you come together and you see, take a census. And you see, then you can now go with, not by your, just yourself. What they've done are they betrayed the people who entrusted them with the mantle of leadership to give them leadership. That's what they've done. It's called betrayer. They went there and said, yes, so we don't stand for uh, the this, this, this Nigeria. We stand for one Nigeria. Those of them who are crying for uh, separationists from the country are doing theirs at their own. If you are saying that and you have taken a census, listen, every Tom, Dick and Harry will back you because then you are speaking the mind of the people. Not when you have not spoken to the people. You just go and meet Buhari because you are doing what we call high service or you want some or you want some political position, or because of peer pressure, you don't want to be seen as the odd one out. So as a matter or as a result of that, you go quickly and say, ah, yes, so we the governors, we don't want either Odudua or Biafra. And now Buhari is saying that he's very happy because their governors has assured him. You see, if you look at what is happening, for instance, in the southeast, you see that one man, a governor, you know, a governor can actually tell the police, um, I mean, the mobile, the, the, the soldiers to leave his state. But he turned his state into a civil war and he wants to do what we call the divide and rule. Bring soldiers to help him rule because he never even won the election in the first place. Is this what it ought to be? I beg your pardon. The answer is no. That's not the way to lead the people. Now, Buhari is saying to everyone who cares to listen, that he's quite happy. In fact, he's very happy because their governors have assured him that um, the people are just making noise. You see, you see that statement? You see that statement? Instead of paying attention to what the people want, it's rather calling for more division. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. God bless you. Do have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Bye for now.